I'm home. I haven't done anything. And why are the marshals knocking on my door? It took me downtown to the uh, federal court uh, where they put me in a four by four cell for about an hour. And then an hour later, I was taken before a judge surrounded by seven marshals. That was Houston man Paul Aker describing his experience of being arrested for not paying off his student loan. U.S. Marshals came to his home last week to collect a $1,500 federal student loan from 1987. The author of Grow a Pair, Larry Wingett, with me now. Larry, always glad to have you here. With one point trillion T, like Tom, trillion dollars worth of student debt in this country, is this extreme to go to this guy's house for 1500 bucks from the 80s? Well, you know, it sounds like the marshals were just so big, bad, and mean coming and beating on his door and demanding the money. Listen, he chose not to pay. Uh, he's gainfully employed. Twenty years ago, he signed a contract, made a deal with you and me, the taxpayers, that he would borrow money and repay it. And now he shows disrespect to the taxpayers, and he sits back and says, I didn't do anything. Well, of course he did something. He didn't pay back money he owed. It's wrong. It's wrong. Do you think the government should be making student loans at all? Short and sweet, Larry. Yay or nay? No. No, anytime the, the federal government pays for anything, the price of it goes up. That's why we have $1,700 hammers. <laughs> All right. Larry Wingett, come back. We have more to talk about on this student debt issue. Right. Thank you very much in the meantime, sir. And, of course, Fox Business at 7.30 a.m., Maria Bartiromo's exclusive interview with